So we've got here a Bremi BRS 27 power supply, which is the 3 to 5 amp one, which is a bit better quality than most. And this has come from Mystery Bremi Factor Allen. Um, it's had a bit of a, a clean up and a bit of a paint, I think, over the years. So this is the one made for the UK because it's got the three core mains lead. So we take the lid off the plug with the right screwdriver this is one with the shrouded pin so it's legal to use what we want to see is a 3 amp fuse in there and what we have is a 3 amp fuse. So that's a good start. Just check the terminals are tight. So that's why in a satisfactory manner with the earth having the biggest bit of slack in it so it's the last one to come out if it was pulled out of the cord grip which is done properly so that's okay on initial safety we're not going to bother powering it up or are we let's power it up tell you what take the screws out of it first And I think Mr. Chippy is going to do the electronics on this. We've actually got two porter packs in for repair. One's an 77805 D UK, and the other's the 77805 UK. So. I'm not going to do them one after the other. We'll do something else in between. So, oh, can we see? On the heatsink is a 10 pin IC, which is a UA723, so it's an LM723, but the um, variation for uh, TO. It's TO66 when it's got that many uh, legs. So you have no further fuse in the product, but everything is shrouded and it switches the live. So this one, you've got a secondary fuse, but you haven't got a primary fuse. So the only fuse is the one in the plug. In the primary, there will be a thermal fuse, so you do have that so it doesn't catch fire. Now, to be honest, this has had the capacitors done. So I'm absolutely talking out of my bottom here. So it's come from Allen and the capacitors have been done. So this isn't going to be much of a uh, demonstration, is it? It says on the board 100 microfarads and whatever the other one is. Twenty-two hundred microfarads. What voltage has he put in? Hundred and five degrees rated. Where's Mr. Chippy's dental mirror? He's put 35 volts in, which is absolutely fine. So originally there were 28 volts, which wasn't good enough. Well, 
it's been done. There's nothing I can say. This is embarrassing. We're going to uh, we'll power it up. I'll go and get the tester. Right, so we've got 13.917 offload. Um, I'm going to trim that to 13.8 and then we'll see what happens. I wonder where all the trimming tools are here. To save time, I'll use a precision. I can't use say. To save time, I'm just going to use a precision screwdriver. Not the right tool. So, right. I think I'd rather have it at the low end. Let's put a hundred milliamps on. 13.7. I think we'll trim it to 13.8 under that load. I think that's about where we want it to be. So um, let's adjust it. So 200 milliamps, 3, 4, 5, half an amp. Six, seven, eight, nine, one amp, thirteen point six volts. So that's your normal transmit on most UK sets. They go up to about one and a half amps, depending on the model. So here we go with one, two, three, four, five. So now at one and a half amps, that's the maximum you're going to encounter on a UK set. Now with C multi norms, some of them will go up to two and a half amps. So let's see whether we can do two. 13.5 volts at 2 amps, you're hardly likely to encounter anything up here and it's only on transmit, it's so 4, 5 so there we are, 13.4 volts, we've still got excellent stability at that, so it's a 3 amp rated power supply and it's still doing 13.3 so you can see how much better these are than a lot of the other power supplies so what we're now going to do I'm going to take the load off and we'll put it up to 4 amps and see what it does. Remember it's, a, it's supposed to be a 5 amp surge. You know what, it doesn't say that on it these days. On this model it does not say that. So we'll see what happens. 12.3 So it would still, it would do that. So let's see what happens if we put it up to 5 amps. Especially if we press the right button. Switch it on. It shuts down. So I wonder at what point it doesn't shut down. Let's try four and a half. Now it shuts down. Four point one. It just supports four to four point one. So there you are, it's the 3 amp power supply and it actually does it and we've hardly got much temperature change on that so not much of a video but uh, at least we've set it up and it's really satisfactory. I thought we were going to be changing the capacitors so the whole point of showing you this is the two capacitors that do need changing if you've got one of these and it still works if it's the one with the three core mains lead it's absolutely fine because uh, it was made for the UK. If you have the one with the two core mains lead it wasn't made for the UK and it's a 220 volt transformer so it's the two capacitors need changing and the original capacitors are what they call axial ones which go 
across flatways uh, on on this big one, which is 2200 at 35 volts. So um, I presume Alan's replaced this with the 105 rated one, 105 degree rated, and he's used the radial type. He's put sleeving on it. He's done a really good job, and that one is 100 microfarads at 16 volts. I would be tempted to up it to probably 25 volts. So originally these were 2200 at 28 volts, which is inadequate. He's put 35 volts in. So that's good good to go and didn't need anything doing to it whatsoever so there we go we'll get it put back together so this video is going to have to be entitled not repairing the Brevi BRS 27 I think we've got two more of these in stock um, one another one of one of which did come from Alan I've got another of his blown up power supplies I keep buying power supplies at Radio Rollies when I see them at the right price. So the final thing, oh I'll tell you what I should have done, just do the safety test. I'll try and do that with, from the underside. So come back to the video. Right, so we'll use the Martindale HP AT400. So these screws at the bottom hold the transformer in and these will be the earth bonding screws so I'm just going to see if we can get sufficient paint off there and see what tests we need to do I think it's going to be class one on this one was a mistake wasn't it? Switch it off, switch it on There we are, it's not a double insulated product, it's a metal case, so there we are, so that's fine. Good, we'll do put that on the uh, on the working shelf. Probably the nicest of the CB power supplies to be honest. I do have a Zitagi one somewhere, which is probably one of the most expensive ones so I really ought to look at that one day but we've got quite a lot of cheaper ones to actually repair and they're worth doing because they're not, you know these the kind of things are 40 pounds these days with the transformer operated ones and I'm a big believer in transformer operated ones and not the switch mode type which can introduce electrical noise and my experience of switch mode power supplies has been long term reliability so it's alright if you like replacing things every so many years but I, I like to buy products once in a lifetime so there you go not repairing the Bremi BRS 27 from 1981 thanks for watching